Welcome, one and all, to the annual. Yeah, that's mm. right. Actual annual, because there have been two in the past at this point. We can say annual. Yeah. Tarkaran Awards Ceremony, known as the Blastia Awards. The Blastias okay. are here to stay. In case you're here to stay. new, what are the Blastia Awards? Alex? Blastia Awards are uh, the basically the celebration of everything that we've uh, done in the past year. There are Oscars. There are Game Awards. Uh, Blastia is like a is like an item or a, a specific like special magical thing in Tales of Vesperia. Our channel name, if you didn't actually know, is actually inspired by the final dungeon of Tales of Vesperia. Um, and it sounds very survivorish name. Seemed like a perfect fit, considering that some of the first interactions that Zach and I and our friend Rusty also had in uh, in talking like personally to get uh, like over like talk like physically talking instead of just typing it was like the some of the first uh, uh reactions that we ever uh or, or first stuff that we ever talked about was a uh, was on a podcast where we talked about tales of asperia so the blastias are here to celebrate all things great about tarkaron yeah not only tarkaron itself not only the videos we made but the things that we got to experience through for yeah. the videos you know we it's true we got to watch a lot of new movies and, and mm. shows and games in order to be able to talk about them in the channel. And so Absolutely. we're honoring those specific things as well in different ways. So it's going to be a fun trip. I see we have the crowd is riled up. Um, yeah, they're really getting going crazy right now. It's it's kind of crazy out there. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. I went for a little bit of a different setting here. It's kind of a, it was like a fog going on. It's like dimly lit. Only yeah. the stage is lit up and people seem to be rowdy. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's causing that fog. Uh, you kids down there, you better make sure that's legal in this state. Mm -hmm. uh, you know what I'm saying, but uh, <clears throat> what I'm saying, the devil's lettuce, as they call it. All right, uh, so you'll see some awards were were here from previous years, but also we have a couple variations we make each time. So, without further ado, why don't we jump into our first award? All right, let's do it right now. Let's go for it. Our first award is actually a new award this year. And yeah. It's what's known as the Hidden Gem of the Year. Yeah. You know? Sponsored by Metal Jesus Rock. And it's not. Officially sponsored <laughs> by Metal Jesus Rock. YouTube <laughs> there. Um, Who, by the way, this is just a complete side thing, but we had him on a podcast one time. We both had like, him. We both, we had him. We did. We, we actually, we had Metal Jesus on, on an episode of one of the previous podcasts that me and Zach were part of, and it was a great episode. I mean, honestly, listening back to it now, we probably, probably we, it was probably terrible. It was probably just awful, but we felt like really confident about how good it was after, after mm -hmm. it recorded. And then the data corrupted and we never aired it. Mm -hmm. That's back when uh, all my eggs were in coal recording every episode. So that's, <laughs> that's where the problem was there. Oh, wow. Metal, we're throwing right, shade right, early. Right. Metal, Jesus, <laughs> Metal Jesus rocks. Well, we can't just assume yeah. people know who Metal Jesus Rocks is, by the way. Metal Jesus it's, Rocks oh, that's is, true. A, yeah. is a YouTuber who does very like retro video game stuff. So it's yeah. really niche, but it's niche, but like he he's blown, he's, up since then. he's blown up quite a bit. I mean, he was under a hundred K at that point. Like he might have even been under fifty K at that point like, when we had him on. I feel like he was and around he has like 15, over fifteen thousand, maybe ten thousand. Yeah, and now he has like over four hundred I think he was close to four hundred thousand last I checked. He might even be over that now. I don't know, but mm -hmm. um, he makes solid content. He's he's really good. But anyway, this is the hidden gem award. Well, the irony of the hidden gem award is that it's like okay, now we're put, we're putting these up on a pedestal. So they're not so hidden yeah. anymore. I guess not. Yeah. Well, that was. I mean, that's the joke about him using that term, right? Yeah. Is he Metal Jesus the hidden gem video? The it's most like, oh, hidden gem of the year. You, you you better you better watch your wallets then if you're looking for these retro games. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, our nominees for Hidden Gem of the Year are Jungle Cruise. I just had fun. It, felt, it was a good, fun summer movie. It felt like, <laughs> like the first Pirates, except not nearly as good. Censor by Junji Ito. He's well known for uh, a lot of supernatural and body horror stuff, both of which are still a play here. <laughs> um, but, uh, but all serving a much more un I say I would say unsettling rather than like outright it's it doesn't play the this the straight beats that you would expect from a lot of his other work which is actually one of the reasons why I thoroughly enjoyed it personally 
Scared Shrekless. This was great. I loved basically every every minute of this. <laughs> it was a bunch of horror film parodies uh, with all the Shrek characters, and for the for the most part, yeah. but also like the um, the 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 Bride of Gingy. Whatever that one was called. That's was... the best work that Gingy's done. Also, yeah, for sure. Shrek Forever After, and I was glued to my seat. I was not tired. I was so invested. Oh. I love this movie, <laughs> and I was surprised. I was surprised at how much I was enjoying it. I mean, I, I don't think it, it didn't set the world on fire, but like, I was legitimately engaged from start to finish. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and tick, tick, boom. So it's wonderful. So I mean, we've seen this described as like it's like a love letter to music theater kids. It's a it's something that like artists can relate to this movie. I I saw a comment that like every artist needs to see this movie. I I definitely agree with that. Ten thousand percent yes. Mm-hmm. The winner of the Hidden Gem of the Year award goes to Scared Shrekless. Wow. Wow. Gotta hand it to him. Gotta hand Look, it to him. I mean, some it's people crazy. might even be confused about what this is. Yeah, it's true. Because we never, it wasn't like a in title of a video we did. It wasn't a scared Shrekless review. It was actually a part of our <clears throat> reviewing every Shrek short video, where that that happened to be the best, the best of them all. Yeah, it was. It was going. literally a, a hidden gem in in that video because almost every other Shrek short is just awful. <laughs> they're all pretty bad i mean they're not okay that, i guess that, there's a little bit of an exaggeration but they're not great um that one is genuinely like one of the one of the best shrek content i mean you other we had other shrek stuff nominated here tick tick boom i i was kind of gunning for that as a as maybe potential winner but is it is it hidden i mean there's a lot of of like other awards buzz for that so is it really a hidden movie how hidden is it right? yeah how hidden is it just because we didn't necessarily know we about have, it right we away, had but. to weigh a lot of factors including the hiddenness of the gem yeah. and, and it was question. literally hidden where we literally <laughs> hid this one in a video yeah, so there you the go one that's not in the, in the title <laughs> of the video so the that's hidden. right but it does it deserves a mention because it really is just uh it's one that not many people are gonna experience in their lifetime that's true. That's true. Jungle Cruise is also just crazy fun. Censored by Junji mm-hmm. Ito. Do we just kind of did it on a whim? But scared trackless man. It was the diamond in the rough, literally. All right. So, uh, all right. Well, you know, well, Zach, this year, as we were talking about uh, awards, there was a lot of music that we listened to this year. A lot of different musical stuff. You know, we did have a, an auspicious start. Uh, where we reviewed uh, Starbomb's third album, and then we didn't talk about music basically <laughs> ever again. Yes. Um, but this year, we've actually talked about a lot of music, musical-related things, and musicals. Um, there's yeah. been a lot of stuff that we've been we've been doing this year, and uh, we definitely wanted to highlight the best musical experience of the year uh, for sure. So, without further ado, the nominees for best musical experience of the year. Tick tick boom. There was some. Lynn's out here doing stuff, huh? He's yeah. He's just doing stuff. West Side Story. Love that girl named Maria. Maria. It's not just a casual thing either. Let me tell you, I've known her for a couple hours at this point. Yeah, I know. It's true love. At that point, it's true love, right? Whole conversation. Yeah. And Kanto, that dress, her dress was amazing. Yeah, I just I was totally in love with the dress. I was like, my God, the colors on that thing, the flowing. Oh my God, I was just I was just like, couldn't get over how good the dress was. I was like, this is such so cool. I, I love that. In the Heights. Um, I'm 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 just happy as a clam right now. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, what a uh, treat, right? Absolutely, love a treat it. and a half. Blackpink, light up the sky. But I was impressed with with what it was actually. Like, I came out with an even, even greater appreciation for them. I feel like after watching it. And Dua Lipa's future nostalgia. Yeah, I mean, it's like it's hard to really. It, it, to me, I would say I would still say like hallucinate and and physical are probably my favorites. But all, all the other ones are like tied for third. 
like yeah. it's like it's like they're all there <laughs> you know it's like yeah, it's tough for me um, too now the winner of the best musical experience of the year is in the heights in the heights gotta give it to him gotta mm. give it to him lynn lynn's representing three times here you gotta give it all to right. him um i mean what i mean what can you say you know in the heights was amazing in the heights um one of the few perfect 10 out of 10s we've given out on the channel so something about i mean this is like what sparked our love and our like probably drew us towards the, the musical stuff early on in the year because this was a this was felt early on in the year and and it was like it blew us away you know we expected yeah. to like it obviously because Lin Manuel Miranda we had just reviewed Hamilton the year before but i don't think we ever expected it to be i still love it that much no, I mean, I knew it. Yeah, I knew I was going to enjoy it. I knew In the Heights was like his, you know, it won the Tony for best musical that year, um, the year it came out. So I knew it was, you know, it was, I knew it was going to be good, but I, I didn't quite expect it to be as blown away by it as I was. Um, it uh, It's criminally, criminally underperformed at the box office, as most right. musicals did this year. West Side Story also did not do very well um, at the box office, which I think is a shame because that's another that I, I have very high things to say about that movie as well. Um, yeah. In the Heights was just like stunning cinematography. All the musical numbers popped. Um, There's a lot of good variety, a lot of awesome storytelling. I mean, it was just a treat. Uh, and, and I was really happy to, to both see it with my housemates at home, thanks to HBO Max. But I also got to go see it in the theater with my family and everyone I've talked to about it has loved it. So, and I continue I, I, to love and listen to the music to this day. Oh, same. It's so good. Um, uh, other ones, you know, we get you get you get to give it up to them. You know, there was some some not, good stuff that we yeah, to this year. Not stress enough how stacked this this category is. This, particular this award. This is like we kind of just had to give it to In the Heights because we gave it a ten. But like, honestly, we were not disappointed by any of these this year. All of these were awesome. All of these things that I mean, we that all of these got list. great scores, and I mean, yeah. Tick Tick Boom, Black Pink, Light Up the Sky, and Dua Lipa all have like super high, yeah, super highly scored nine point twenty yeah. five, nine point fives. We're talking, and Encanto has blown up recently, like hardcore. When it when it released on Disney Plus, it just like it's snapped. It's like come to a huge new audience. Like people are freaking eating this movie people up. Are eating so. up. We don't talk about Bruno. That's we don't talk about Bruno up. though. We, we don't talk about Bruno. But that's what they're eating up. That song. It is. I mean, it's a great song. It. So uh, in the Heights, Lynn doing, doing amazing work. He directed Tick Tick Boom and he did the music for Encanto as well. So, mm -hmm. um, I mean, yeah. Lin -Manuel Miranda, yeah, he's, he's, he's had his hands in a lot of the stuff. Quite I mean, a year for him this year. Quite a year. <laughs> Yeah, and there was also like a other like Netflix movie he did that we didn't even yeah. watch. Yeah, we didn't watch it. He did the music for some other movie, like some random. It kind of looked like it was not as high budget, but the, I'm sure the music was great though, <laughs> like yeah. everything else he does. And of course, the, these are some of the highest highs we experienced this year. A lot of a lot of these musical things, but in order to appreciate the highest highs, you have to have some lows, you know. True. And it's Tarkron, true. Look, this year we had a lot of highs. I feel like there weren't that many yeah. duds in there, but inevitably there are going to be duds. There are going to mm. be lows, and that's why we have the award for worst experience of the year coming mm. up next after mm. these messages. <laughs> I don't know what messages we we just played, but um, I'm sure they were wonderful. Um, so the nominees for worst experience of the year are Gaby. <laughs> Decorum. Um, it's like a straight woman and her gay best friend and she wants to have a baby with him and like specifically at the very beginning of the movie she's like no nah, and i want to do it the old-fashioned way sam wants to do it the old-fashioned way dear evan hansen no no the the direction of the film was very boring um and like some I, I, songs were going on for so long it felt like like i i'll do his off i do his off and i wake up and it's still the same song <laughs> oh, the, oh the song's still going on yeah <laughs> there were like, long I'm stretches like, of I'm time like, i'm not 
into this song. Let's see, okay. Shrek the Halls. I gotta say, the Christmas ones did not do it for me in, gen- in general. It's not extreme Shrek 3, Shrek the Third energy in this one. <laughs> yeah. And to its infinite detriment. Ghostbusters 2016. In, in a way, it's a wasted opportunity, but more than anything, it's just, it just felt, it just feels bad. It feels bad, man. Yeah. It just feels bad. And Capcom at E3 2021. Pretty cringe, bro. Well, here's the thing. It wasn't even that just that there's nothing about Mega Man. The whole thing was nothing. It shouldn't have even happened. It was. They, a, they told us nothing. Also, my least favorite presenter. Oh, yeah. Oh. Like, what, uh, she doesn't know what she's talking. She does not play a video game before. <laughs> After they showed Monster Hunter Stories 2, she was like, looks pretty epic, right? I'm like, whoa. <laughs> the winner for the worst fucking experience we had this year. Wow. Okay. You were- Throwing out the ratings right now. <laughs> the ratings board. We're just getting censored on TV. Censored. <laughs> Is Ghostbusters 2016. Yeah, 2016 <laughs> specifically. <laughs> you, had to, you had to have that long pause in there. Mm-hmm. <sighs> yeah, I mean, um, well, all, I mean. I mean, let's not, let's not get twisted. All these are were bad. They were pretty bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah they're all pretty bad. Look, Gaby, Honestly. Gaby was the best. But, okay. But. Ghostbusters. Yeah, well, G- Gaby probably was the best thing out of all these. It, it wasn't very good. I was very uncomfortable. Um, <laughs> not not like the subject material is fine. It, it's more like the, the acting and I didn't like any of the characters. <laughs> they were boycotting uh, but, Spider-Man though. They were boycotting Spider-Man, yeah. But Ghostbusters 2016 was just a special kind of awful um I, I didn't think it was as bad as i heard it was i expected it to be worse honestly than what it was so as, as the worst thing we experienced this year is not <clears throat> not nearly as bad as the lows we experienced in previous years i feel like i i i have a hard time no that's not true i was gonna say i have a hard time deciding whether or not uh, i would rather watch that again or eternals which is not on this list but it was a movie that i did not enjoy um I would easily watch Eternals again before I watching that. I, I don't think I ever want to see Ghostbusters 2016 ever again. Um, it, I, I kind of agree with you that I don't think it was as bad as I think some people let on. Um, but it was still pretty bad. Um, and it, just very baffling decisions. I mean, you can go go check out a review of it. I, we go a little bit more in depth. I, I was a little fresher um, at what fresh hell that we described right. or that I described. We apparently also somehow watched two different versions of the movie, which is weird. Right. So um, maybe your version was worse than mine. Yeah. yeah. Uh, maybe. I don't know. But, but this was not an, an easy award from what, no, I've heard, you, what, I've, what I've heard from the panel. Oh, that's true. The panel highly, or scientific panel. They were like throwing stuff at each other. I, I heard it was really it came down to Shrek the Halls and Ghostbusters, but that's, that's just hearsay. Yeah. yeah. But it was really, uh, it was really getting heated in there. Yeah, because gaslighting Shrek in Shrek the Halls, that's pretty pretty messed up. Mm-hmm. Um, and then uh, Dear Evan Hansen, I mean, what more can be said about that meme of a movie than hasn't already been but, said by everybody? But you can't da- you can't take away the fact that he's waving through a window. <laughs> some of the music is okay. You know? Yeah. yeah. So, some of the music is not, but some of the music's okay. So that's not the worst that. thing of the year. But nah. there's a reason it wasn't part of our best musical experiences of the year category. No, it no. could have been if they, you know, if maybe it was just a better story. If it was, <laughs> yeah. if it was just better. <laughs> uh, uh, but yeah, Ghostbusters 2016. I mean, I, I'll give it. I'll give it this. At least it. It was trying to be somewhat of a comedy, which you can't really say about the one that just came out this previous year. So. Mm-hmm. I guess props to it for trying at least. It didn't do a very good job, but it tried <laughs> to be a comedy at least. So, but look, oh well. Honestly, that's like, like all these things on this list are like some positives mm-hmm. about them. You know, they're not awful. Well, Capcom so, at E three twenty twenty one. I mean, it was short. That was the positive. About that. Why isn't that the worst thing of the year? It was uh, short. It was short. Like, I mean, there were still some good games on display. It was just. It was just disappointing because it was like you have all these things that you could have shown and you just showed us stuff that we already knew about. I don't you know? even know if I agree with who they, what they chose for this award. 
you know, and we're supposed to be impartial hosts here, but I don't even know if I agree at this point. I'm starting I to think maybe I, yeah. Capcom is worse. Shrek the Halls might have been worse. Yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll we'll have to have a word with them after after mm-hmm. uh, after the award ceremony because uh, there might be some in in inborn inbred corruption. Some inbred corruption. Might be corruption. corrupt, but let's go through the rest of the several awards we have to get through. We, we do. Corrupt, but we do. It's gonna you know it's okay. a it's a long night. You know we have got a lot of awards to get through. Hey, uh, hey, boy, if they. You, hey, if you want to write into the show, feel free to go to the link in the description. By the way. And yeah. uh, click our Google form where you can send in feedback. Any, and this is real. This is I'm yeah. really talking to you, the audience. This is actually real. <laughs> you can you can do this. <laughs> right into the show, and we might just respond in the future. So, but just remember the panel. It was the panel of impartial judges mm-hmm. that voted on this. So, yeah. if you have any disputes with any of our opinions, just remember it's them and not us. Yeah. Alec, what's our next award? Our next award, I, I'll, I'm happy to tell you what the next award is, and that is Glad to hear the you agree. To tell me. This is this is a new award uh, this year, and it is the agree to disagree award. We had a lot more. We had, well, here's the thing: we, me and you, we had a lot more divisions this year. It felt like we also reviewed way more stuff this year than we did any other year. But I feel like we had less divisions, for being honest. Really, I mean, probably. I mean, I guess if you. I don't know. We'll have to go to a scientific poll to figure that out later. Um, but right. there were there were some times where we had some 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 disagreements, some uh, some fringes uh, of where I would give a, a high score and you would give a low score. That actually was was I mean, yeah, that sometimes happened. But more often the case, I was a grumpy old man and didn't like things, and then you gave stuff uh, higher scores than I did. Well, that's not true Regardless, at all. That's not true at all. That's not true. We're, we're, are we gonna are we gonna have a schism right here? This is it. This is the <laughs> actually, we're actually, gonna fight. You're actually spotting fake news on the stage right now. That's fake news. Come on. <laughs> fake news on the stage. You oh, well, you'll just have to go in and watch. Objectively, you <laughs> score things higher. It's true. It's true. I do. I like when I like things. I give it a high scores, and when I don't like things, I don't know. Uh, so we're already. We see here we are. We're already disagreeing. We can't even. Ag- we can't you. even agree on I this. I hate you, dude. Yeah, I hate you too. We can't even agree on this. We can't do it. But you know what? We can agree to disagree. And these are the nominees for that award. Shrek two. The best. I think not only is this, is this movie good. This movie is excellent. This is like no, this no. is a high bar. Man. Like, get out of here! Dude, I, get out of here! I was very here. hesitant going into this. I'm like Shrek two. I remember loving it growing up. I'm like, but Shrek, I could tell how much it aged when watching the original Shrek. Oof, how yeah, Shrek two look, hold up? Good. Shrek two holds. It's like fine wine, baby. Luca. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. It's a good movie. It, ultimately, I came out of the movie and it didn't do much for me. Like I like the idea of like um, acceptance and things like that, but I just can mm-hmm. think it was kind of like it's like we we got, we got there pretty quickly, you know, the change of heart, and it's almost like oh, they could have shoehorned that theme into almost any story. And, and when I get down to the story, I didn't really like Alberto. I didn't really like the villain guy. Eternals. It's pretty good. No, it's not. Let's get into it though. This movie sucked. <laughs> I disagree. I hate. I did not. I okay. I won't say I hated it. I did not like this movie at all. I, I thought this movie was dull, uninteresting. <laughs> uh, I liked it. I liked it. I did. I did not like this movie. I didn't love it one bit. I, didn't, I don't even know if I want some more of it. Ghostbusters, and this is the first <laughs> film. Ghostbusters. It's just okay. Yeah, I don't know what he's talking about. He's taking you know. advantage of this shock experiment. And <laughs> a little weird, but that's okay. A little bit of an 80s. <laughs> it's, it's an 80s. All right. <laughs> you got to convert from the 80s. Overall, I, I think it's pretty good. I, I'm not blown away by Ghostbusters, but. No, oh, I love uh, this movie. It's. it's, it's <laughs> I don't know if it's, it's just a classic thing. Sometimes classics can be hit or miss for me. It's like, you know, mm. whether I get the actual charm as if I watched it for the first time. Sometimes it doesn't work if you if you haven't wa- didn't watch it when it first came out or like at least closer to the time. And Cruella, not too good. Not too no, good. We it's... agree on that, but we disagree with Do the agree. other one. Who? Uh, let's get a show of hands. Okay. Who has a positive opinion of this movie? Who? 
okay? I'm like right here. Mm, mm. I, I'm like, I I find it hard to have any strong <laughs> feelings about this movie. This I, movie is almost is this movie was nothing to me. It did wow. nothing. It did and, nothing for me in the sense that like. As hard in as the it sense sounds, that, like, I, I kind of, I'm right, I'm kind of there. Well, the winner, the agree to disagree award is Cruella. <laughs> I thought we Give were in agreement Cruella. here. Uh, yeah, well, we are in agreement, but uh, we had kind of an interesting three-way discussion on this one, uh, if you may recall. So the viewers would would remember this, uh, but. Um, we we kind of did a did a down from from positive to negative. It was a little bit like Rusty, you, me, in terms of our positive reactions. And Rusty and not me were quite quite in at odds in terms of how much we, we enjoyed both the movie. At odds with him. We we were definitely both at odds with him. Um, I you seemed more mid on the movie, and I I just kind of didn't like it. Um, but th- th- that's kind of what I mean in terms of that. But we definitely. Uh, disagreed uh, on on the take of the takeaway of Cruella. But it was interesting to me for a lively discussion, an hour long discussion. It's interesting because similarly with Lady and the Tramp, me and Rusty were united, and you were in disagreement. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we were scoring it. And it was similar yes, it, here. Interesting that we didn't that we didn't we have yet to watch a movie. I think I think we have yet to watch a movie with Rusty where we're all in accord. Um, because the Lion King, Wolfers I hadn't seen. Oh, uh, Wolf versus Bear. We were all. Were we all kind of. We were yeah. all pretty mid on that one. Yeah, I guess we were. Yeah. Um, I guess that's true, but I don't know if I count that as a movie. <laughs> and the Lion <laughs> that, King, you hadn't seen it, but we. I hadn't seen it. You, you and him were both kind of. Yeah, you're both kind of. It was cold on that one. I probably would be the same. So I guess we could probably say that that's, that is the case, but, but in to, any case, let's have more reviews with rusty and other, other guests in the future. Cause it does make for interesting, lively discussions, especially if there's yeah. some disagreement there. Yeah. We'll have to get some, some, some folks, some friends and people on. It'd First be, we have to fun. get friends. First we have to, yeah, it's true. First we have to find friends and then we can maybe talk about it. Um, we'll learn how to talk to people. Yeah, we were definitely we were split on some other things. Shrek two, I feel like I could probably reevaluate my opinion yeah, on. I think you need to but, reevaluate yourself. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Luca, I think you need to reevaluate yourself on that one. Uh, maybe it was a little too positive on it, but it's a good movie. I liked it. It was yes, cute. I'm already getting you. I'm already winning you over. Nah, but you're not winning me over on Gorilla, except because I already agree with you on that one. You're not winning me over on that one ever. That, <laughs> that movie's a dud. But Corella. We can at least we can agree on that one, even and we agree to disagree yeah, with. But I'm Rusty. also willing if they make a quality too. I'm willing to see see it through. I think they could do some great stuff with it. It's true. You just got to lean more into the Devil Wears Prada stuff, which I guess they really can't do anymore. I don't know. Maybe they could. Mm-hmm. That was the most interesting part of the movie. The Devil's to me, not PC but... anymore. You know that. Yeah. No, anyway. it's true. So the next one, we have a few awards here that really just highlight the best of the best. And this next award is one of those. It's our favorite experience of the year, period. Mm, so this mm. is based on the things, not the videos we made, but the things we reviewed. Um, these were all things we experienced in order to review them for the channel, basically. For the most part, they were all specifically for that purpose. And uh, these were the highlights for us personally. Nominees for favorite experience of the year are The Godfather. I gotta tell you, I get it. I get it. I totally <laughs> get. I totally get why it is held in such high regard. Uh, I I very so I've I love a lot of movies. I love a lot of things. Rarely am I watching a movie where I have like where I have like goosebumps or chills throughout the whole thing. Mm-hmm. This was one of those movies. <laughs> Midnight Mass, but it's so good. Rich, uh, I, I do love, yeah. The, yeah, I still love the fact that someone said, yeah, he's telling meaningful stories with horror. It's crazy. Yeah, it's great. I'm, gra- yeah. I'm grateful for this channel because I wouldn't have ever, I don't think I would have ever watched the Haunting yeah, of Hill House, the Haunting of Bly Manor. Now this, I know, I don't, I don't know if I would have either. So I'm like, I'm so happy that Mike Flanagan is exists and 
is living. Yeah, give me more. Spider Man No Way Home. This yeah. movie wait, this movie's badass, right? This Let movie is like one of my favorite superhero movies ever. Psycho. It is terrible. Do not watch it. It is mm-hmm. it, I remember it is so bad. Um Metroid Dread. Uh I'm loving it. I, I, I absolutely love it. Um yeah. I think this this is doing it's doing everything that I liked about Samus Returns, which is the 3DS remake of uh, Metroid 2. And it's doing all, doing everything, like, perfectly. The Mandalorian Season 2. Alex, yes. can I tell you, last last season I was like, this thing, this show is it's promising, it's good stuff. Uh, yeah. It's, but it's not the best thing. Yeah. Best thing in the world. Yeah. This season was the best thing in the world, baby. 9.5 out of 10. Wait, you're saying that already? Yep, yeah. Really? Okay. And Loki. This, uh, yeah, this was amazing. Uh, I... Fun time. Just a fun, enjoyable romp. Uh, Disney Plus, three for three, I think, for Marvel shows. I I 100% agree with you. The winner of the Favorite Experience of the Year Award goes to... The Godfather... Got to give it to Come it. On. Got to give it to it. It's you got to, you really, yeah. Yeah, it really is, 10, yeah. 10, but there was a lot of really great stuff this year. Let's not get it twisted. And if yeah. and if we didn't have a musical award as well, there would have been so much of that in this category as well. Like, it's, there's so much. It's true. So much, so many highly rated things. These were all stellar. It's true. We, we had a really great, we experienced a lot of really good stuff this year, honestly. Mm-hmm. Like, like, this is just a, a good, like a smattering, like a, like a, just a good little 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 cross section. Cross section. Yeah, there such you go. Such a diverse in this category alone. Such a diverse yeah. list here. You know? We have games. We have TV series. We got movies. Um, mm-hmm. And very different. You know, they're all really from different. The, everything from a, a classic in The Godfather to a modern, like the the one of the newest movies and a superhero movie, Spider Man: No Way Home. Mm. And to Psycho, even more of a classic. You know, we really expand yeah. the spectrum here. Midnight Mass, I still love, love. Yeah, I yeah, I mean, it's it, it was an excellent show for sure. Um, and uh, yeah, Metroid Dread, my fav- my game of the year. Uh, I I thought it was awesome. Um, and um, and season yeah, two I of mean, the Mandalorian was like really early on in. Yeah, it was super year. early on. It was one of the first things we reviewed. Super, super early on. So I feel like we, we probably aren't appreciating it as much because at the time we were like, yeah, we had nothing but good things to say about massive, it. Massive, massive highlight, really. Like, man, it's, see, uh, excellent. A really great. And Loki um, is like our, our favorite of all the Marvel shows so far. So for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, but the Godfather, it's hard to beat a perfect score. 10 out of 10. It really is. I mean, yeah, what hasn't been said about the Godfather that we could we could even add to it? I mean, it was just it was just so wonderful getting to finally watch a movie that's been so kind of lauded, and for it to sort of live up to all that hype, and like still be an extremely good and watchable movie. It feel like sometimes you know some some movies like their their sort of reputation maybe precedes them a little too much makes it so that it's like oh how could it ever live up to that kind of potential but it's like no it, it does it does it it mm-hmm. absolutely does i i just remember uh one of my housemates came home when i was watching it and i remember he he just was like so is it good and i like i couldn't even like speak because i was just i was just being absorbed it's so absorbed in like i was being <laughs> absorbed by the movie <laughs> i was so absorbed in the movie i just i just had to like all i did was just like i had a reaction like that like it's just like it's so good um yeah if you haven't gone and done do yourself a favor and watch that movie if you haven't yet just do it um I mean, it's great yeah. it was absolutely great so all right. Well, we're moving into some really stellar categories up, this, up next. The, these are the big ones. We got some big stuff to cover. We here at Tarkron, we have a lot of fun. We do. And we try to, we, 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 we try we to try. have fun anyway. Um, and there come some times where we really want to highlight some of the things that we do, say, 
jokes that we have, recurring things, things that we talk about even after we're done recording the show, things we talk about um, just in general. Um, Gosh, I'm getting teared and, up just thinking about it. I mean, I'm getting categories. teared up just thinking about it. I mean, and and what better way to celebrate some of those fun times that we have than to celebrate the most iconic Tarkron moment of the year. All of these are iconic in their own way, but we have to celebrate the most iconic Tarkron moment of the year. Mm. And the nominees for that are Creating a better ending to Dear Evan Hansen. I can't even say that without <laughs> smiling. No, I'm just imagining our alternate ending, and I'm all here for it. I'm all here for this movie. I, I yeah, yeah, I would. That would be a much better. I feel like that would be a much better m- movie. It would have been sad, and people would have been like, "How dare you have such a dark ending?" But it's like I felt like you would have, would have such, so much yeah. more of a profound, so much more <laughs> of a profound sort of like. These get guys. people talking about mental health These like guys. way more in a way more like open kind of way you know it's like but no we've got to have it's it's broadway <laughs> wow in palau Ashley almost there. wow <laughs> wow they love that camera angle wow they really love that camera angle <laughs> A palpable sense of lawlessness and danger. You find yourself alone at a wild warehouse party in a desolate section of Detroit. At this party, the rules of society do not seem to apply. <laughs> I love how specific this is. What is happening? Why are we in Detroit? What? Put yourself in that zone. We, we're there. Where I'm there now. It's a wild um, warehouse party in a desolate <laughs> section of Detroit. At this party, the rules of society do not seem to apply. Some people are openly talking taking psychedelic drugs and some are dancing naked to deafening electronic music why am i here there is a palpable sense of lawlessness and danger and the doors (laughs) are locked from the outside why am i here (laughs) no one can leave until dawn around 4 a.m it becomes clear that the party is evolving into an orgy but for whatever reason no one is initiating any kind of sexual contact with you everyone is ignoring you except the imagined person they lean in and whisper I am not the kind of person who normally does this. I don't like drugs, dancing, or parties, but here we are. Let's have sex right here on the dance floor in front of everyone else. I want to know what it feels like. (laughs) What is your response? Why am I here? The Fish and Lure from Box Art Battles Episode 4. I'm kind of feeling that Cabela's box art right now. <laughs> that open know, yeah. fish mouth is really doing something. <laughs> I would make a great twitchy move. Let me <laughs> tell you. Look, look, look at the little fishing lure. He's like he's trying to escape for his life, even though it's not real. Yeah. Zach and Rose and Tarkron All Stars Two and All Stars Two Reunion. This is awful. Oh no. I have. <laughs> I left the alliance. Of Why? Rose and Zach. Why? She must have said something like really bad. So she, major, have... she had a major, major meltdown, and I just immediately it's, abandoned her. I'm like, you Ugh. just get scared. You just get really like Oof, too I'm emotional not com- for me. Jeez. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not committed to this rela- <laughs> enough to this relationship. God. You can get back in that maybe. Oh, a new alliance has formed between Rose and Zach Archer. <laughs> you guys meet up. <laughs> <laughs> they have I like how you dissolved. <laughs> guys dissolve the alliance and immediately are like it's but it's okay we're forming a new alliance now. so i mean another big uh relationship people are talking about is obviously i found love out on that island rose yeah yeah there was some there was a there was some sparks flying i would say but... i would say so i, I think yeah. i think a couple of things go differently and we're and we're just as popular and big as rob and amber are just as yeah big an impact. I, yeah it was a it's kind of a beautiful thing going on there, but uh, you know, it was great. I mean, we had uh, we got a little, a little hot and cold there too. It was <laughs> it was... Some emotional roller coasters of episodes going I don't on. Know what you was know? going on? We were all confused. I mean, it's a it's a high stress environment here, Survivor, <laughs> and but through all the troubles and tribulations that brought us closer together, here I got something for you. I got something to show you. Uh oh. Uh oh. What's going on here? Is this a, is this a Sam Regal t- style? Shirt hey. unveiling going on here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no way! <laughs> Did you get that made just for this? Swamp King's presence in Wolf versus Bear. 
Well, my yeah, favorite was yeah. when the Swamp King is first introduced and this young bear comes up. Well, basically walks off. Like, he's like, all right, it's yours. It's fine. And then the Swamp King just goes and, like, fights him for the heck of it. Just, like, swing his dick around, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, but... basically. That's, that's, yeah, it's posturing. But, yeah, that's so Swamp King, he had, he had some character, at least. He had some personality. Yeah. The, the, other, the, yeah, wolves, yes. the wolves, I couldn't tell any of the wolves apart. And finding cracks in Survivor, Vanuatu. But it's but it's great. They both had their ass out. It's just so yeah, much. Yeah, it's just in so different, much, different ways. Yeah, it's so much assery a, a foot. Yeah, there was a lot of like weird like butt comments in this whole episode where it was just <laughs> like, yeah. and it was not the butt of the joke. Uh, no, no. All right, so. Uh, but we get to see some assets on both teams, and uh, so yeah. Right. Um. Let's see if Rory can f- maneuver his way out of the bottom. Yeah. Next time. Next time, uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll see if he's in, in fact, uh, not in the in a posterior uh, position. But, well, uh, we saw in this episode, he, he knows how to find cracks in the alliance. It's true. Yeah, he does. He, he can. Uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, anyway. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and the winner for most iconic Tark Ramon of the year is. Zach and Rose in Tarkron All Stars Two and All Stars Two Reunion. Whoa, whoa, wow. kind of slipping in there. Wow, a great. That's that is iconic. It's quite a it's a quite a relationship that they had going on there. I almost felt like that's an underdog, you know, underdog. Ooh, going there, but... pick. <laughs> <laughs> As an underdog pick, I mean, you got a fi- the fish and lure, right? Fish and lure. <laughs> yeah, that's right. How can you know? That's right. This is uh, I guess, this is an arc that spanned two videos. Mm. Yeah, the the tumultuous toxic relationship within <laughs> the simulation Dark Run All Stars Two, and then uh, the reveal of the, uh, the custom shirt that I made just in honor of All Stars Two <laughs> Union special that we did. Um, it was true love, you know. It was, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it was true love. I mean, it I is, don't blame you. I mean, uh, it is true I'm love. Sure, it's true. It's respond. Yeah, what's yeah, what's the what are the what are the what's the status? You know, what's the relationship status right now? Well, she hasn't spoken to me since since the show. So um, I think you could probably say it's complicated, right? It's complicated. I wouldn't say I'm single. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would say so. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, uh, I mean, I mean. Oh yeah, sure. I hope I hope you get that settled out soon. Mm. Um, I mean, honestly, it's like you you get an arc with with Rose. You know, it's like that. What what more could you ask for? That's wonderful. I think, <laughs> wonderful I think, I think, beautiful. I mean, I mean, I think me and you both sort of like when we watched black pink light up the sky, we both sort of fell in love <laughs> with her. So, I mean, it's like, you get to, you know, you get to have that. I mean, well, I'm stuck over here with con baby, you know, look, it's over. Oh, me and oh. Rose were through. We're oh, through. okay. <laughs> this is, um, this is, I'm this break- is breaking I'm news. Officially breaking up with you, Rose. Okay. Oh. Okay, there it is. You've Boom. not responded to me in months ever since the show, but I'm breaking up with you. That's right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I had to do that to you. Spill the tea. I know you were really banking on this relationship. <laughs> okay. All right, all right. Quit quit slobbering over the microphone here. <laughs> quit blubbering. That <laughs> uh, was a fun time, um, it was a fun time. I mean, all, all these fun were fun. Day. I mean, I mean, I've talked about the, the fact that we like I've talked with a bunch of my friends about how me and you created a better ending to Dear Evan Hansen. Um, mm-hmm. It was very, it, you know, it's it's maybe not a happy ending, but I don't think that story deserves a happy ending. No. Yeah. Um, you know, wow and Palau, of course, you know, classic moment, classic yeah. Thing that just happens, you know, it just happens. So it's a very so, sometimes subtle little moment, you know, sometimes yeah. it doesn't have to be a big a big thing. But it's something that, you know, makes us makes us chuckle. But I mean, I love the finding cracks in Survivor Vanuatu is another fun little thing that these <laughs> kinds of things just come up in Survivor every now and then where it's fun little gags. And uh, you know, obviously it's a moment with Pete Door and the fish and lure in Box Art Battles episode four. Yeah, I mean, I actually brought it up to him in a stream again, uh, one of his eBay streams. I was like, 
hey, there's a nice fishing lure. There's a nice fishing lure on that box art. And he was like, oh yeah, there's a, uh, yeah, there's some. Pr- there's been a pretty good history of some good fishing lures <laughs> on on some boxes. And I mean, a palpable uh, sense of loss and da- and danger was just an iconic uh, prompt from Supertheticals needed to be highlighted here. It did. That was a it's, wild ride. It might it might be a it might be a, a good a good description of a uh, of like a a D and D thing that I'm 100 percent going to use because I mean how could you not use that terminology? Right? It's too perfect. Really well done. You walk in. Yeah. You walk into the bar. There's a palpable sense of lawlessness and danger. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and like, but it was like the weird like uh, humor infused in the in the context of how Chuck Hosterman did it. So it was. Yeah. I mean, shout out to Chuck Hosterman for that. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Big time. All right, we're down to uh, two of the the big awards. The big you know, ones. The, the big ones. Favorites. The big boys. Some of the, our favorite things we've done this year. Boom. Um, and every year we inevitably find ourselves in the thick of a new series in some way, shape, or form. We like doing a series every now and then. And uh, yeah, this is going to be an award to highlight that. It's our favorite series of the year award. Not necessarily the best, but our personal favorite, the one we enjoy doing the most. Mm-hmm. So the nominees for favorite series of the year go to are these are the nominees. <laughs> <laughs> Let me try it again. Let me try. Yeah, it again. do it. Let's try it again. You know it's okay, Zach. We're live you know, on we, stage, but let me we're live on stage, again. but we're here in Zoom. We we have to social distance. Zoom, you know, Zoom, it, it's Zoom still world. we're still zooming, zooming world. You know, Zoomers rise up for this one. Zoom- can I, get, can I have the zoomers in the crowd stand up this, at this time? Can I have the coomers rise up, please? <laughs> censored, censored. Zoomers, <laughs> zoomers, stand up. Look to your left. Look to your right. These are your people. These okay, are you. Sit down. <laughs> Raise a glass to them. There's a glass. The Raise a glass. To, where's a trash can to to, to them? <laughs> The nominees for our favorite series of the year award are The Godfather. Basically, we were tossing around for a while what series should we do next. Star Wars was our big movie series. We wanted to do more of those because it's kind of cool getting to like not only experience some of these things again and be able to re- review all of them, but also just see them in order and see how it goes. But yeah. we specifically wanted to do one that neither of us had seen the movies for um, because you had seen... Um, all the Star Wars, and I had seen most uh, some of them before, so mm-hmm. this one's completely fresh to us. The Godfather is a classic that people have talked about for for ages. You know, it's one of the go to, it's like kind of like the Silence of the Lambs treatment, where it's just held in a high regard. Shrek movie series. We're actually going with something that Zach had to do a lot of convincing to me to to do. Well, ultimately, there's like a bucket list of like, these are the essential movie series you need to get to. And we got The Godfather, we got this Star Wars, nice. and this, this one was up there and we knew no, it needed it to be done. It was it was almost like a necessity, you know? No, but I, I still uh, agreed. Black Mirror Season 1 Reaction Series. It's an anthology sci-fi series, and Black Mirror is a show that I really enjoy and I've always thought would be perfect for the Tarkaron format. Yeah. Even if we didn't do reactions, it would be cool to discuss. A lot of the episodes uh, provoke a lot of discussion, you know, mm-hmm. about there's a lot of different uh, moral dilemmas involved and stuff like that. And, I mean, there's going to be hits and misses because it is an anthology series. There are some episodes that are definitely better than others. But mm-hmm. I think generally as a series, it tends to get better as the seasons go on. Survivor Vanuatu reaction series. Alec, welcome to the Islands of Fire. We're here. Survivor Vanuatu. Cue the, cue the like, fiery mm. background. I, I should have, like, a fire background. Here where too, where cannibalism no. is okay. It's fair game, I think they it's said. It's all cool. Yeah, I think it's... Anyone can eat anyone, yeah. And our month of horror, 2021. Zach? We're getting spooky tonight, baby. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Are we uh, sorry? Did, yes. We, did we start? Oh, yeah. we didn't. We didn't start with our costumes on. I oh. have mine on, pretty much. I don't have mine, mine on. Mine just yes. doesn't really. The Mine's... hat doesn't really work with it. 
and the winner of our best favorite, most favorite series of the year ever go to can't cross my other finger. There we go. Shrek. I mean, yeah. Wow. You gotta give it to him. You know, you gotta X go and give it to you, but that it's really should be man Shrek. Go and give Shrek it to you. Deck. You the don't Shrek have a deck. Whole Shrek deck for no reason. You know, somebody once told me the world, uh, you know, is going to give gonna Shrek an award. I'm going to award you. Going to award you with a with a <laughs> reward on some internet show. There's something about um, Shrek. It's like it was very obviously one of our longer series of the year. Yeah. Um, I mean, survivors are the seasons are long themselves, but Shrek, we, we it was a big undertaking. We watched every movie. Shrek the Musical, even Puss in Boots, and then mm. all the Shrek shorts, and a, a like a, a box art battle to to end it all off too. Uh, there was something about it where it was like it was a fun, real fun time going through it, and even after the fact, it felt like Shrek was just you could feel Shrek's presence in everything we did. <laughs> yeah. From then on, it's Shrek Shrek's presence was always there. I mean, that's the thing. Yeah, it was just. The Godfather, I mean, like, Godfather was, like, stellar. Like, it was movie after movie was all really good. Even the one that we, it's not as good as the other two, but, um, you know, uh, it, excellence on display the whole time. Mm -hmm. Shrek has this weird sort of, like, it, obviously it's the memes. Uh, it's the the earlier films don't have the best animation. Um, uh, some of the, I mean, some of the later movies aren't good um some of the later movies are really good and surprising um it's it has a weird it has like a roller coaster effect kind of it's weird there's a lot to um it. And it there's was, a lot to it it was like a part of our little tark run family for some time you know it was just like a, yeah a constant presence it was like a month and a half of shrek and and it was just like or longer it was like two months of shrek almost and we were just having just i just had a great time i came to much I came to a much greater appreciation of Shrek because of the series that we did. Like I was, I was pretty down on Shrek and there's still aspects of Shrek that I'm pretty down on, but I feel like I, I came to a greater appreciation of, of the series as a whole. Um, so just don't screw it up with Shrek five. And that's all I have to say uh -huh. about that. And I mean, look, this is a series that's it's over for now, but yeah, you best believe we're coming back for Puss in Boots, the last wish. Yeah, that's when coming out like this this year apparently. It's supposed to come out this year, who knows? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're come we're we'll come at, back at you with that. Watch absolutely. Shrek 5, watch Shrek 5 be like the best thing we've like the best ever Shrek, watched. Piece of Shrek <laughs> we've ever seen. <laughs> what a piece boy. of Shrek that is. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, just um, love, I just love it cuz it's like I feel like people don't talk about Shrek as in, like it's interesting taking movies like the Shrek series and and taking a critical eye to them. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah, because because it's the meme status, right? That's that's sort of like why Shrek has sort of kind of lived on in a way. It's like B movie, right? Like no one was talking about B movie until all of a sudden people were making weird, like the weirdest memes I've ever seen back, back in the day. B movie, but but every time yeah. a, a B buzz a B appears, it gets bigger. Yeah, the, the video shrinks. Right. The video spins shrinks, or spins around, or speeds up, or speeds up exponentially, <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> like, yeah, um, yeah. It's just is. There's a lot of really some of those movies like that, like have a meme status. So it's like, you know, it, it sometimes it can be either either it can be blown up, aggrandized in people's minds, being like Shrek was amazing, and it's like was Shrek amazing? I don't know. Well, let's let's talk about it. You know, mm -hmm. so. And I feel like the the boxer battles was like the little icing on the on the cake there, where it was, yeah. was a, a really fun episode of boxer battles that we got to do. And I still need I, to go in and get some of those games. I, went and honestly. Bought, I bought several of those games. Yeah, I still need to do that. Uh, Shrek, I, I really Shrek Extra Large, Shrek Ogres and Donkeys, Puss in Boots, and uh, Shrek's Treasure Hunt. Treasure Hunt. That's the one I want the most because, like, <laughs> what a, <laughs> what a bizarre box art that was. Oh, and Shrek's par par uh, party party carnival, carnival games, carnival cruise, Carnival, carnival cruise, carnival cruise I don't remember party what it... games. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, something um, like that. Yeah, that one, which was the winner of Boxer Battles. 
Spoiler alert. That would be fun if we like if we all got together one time and just played some Shrek's Carnival Craze party games. D- dude, whenever we get together, we have to play all the box to... all the all the winners of Boxer Battles. Especially that one. But that's like a nice party game. <laughs> like, have some fun with that. Yeah. But yeah, great. Well, great series. There that... it is. Boom. That was a, and what a variety of series. I just realized in naming those series. Yeah. The Godfather, Shrek, Black Mirror, Survivor. <laughs> <laughs> And then, and, and then horror. everything reviewed for our horror month. Yeah, um, like yeah. Everything is distinctly different. There's not even yeah there's very little similarities between each one that that, that jump out. Yeah, no, but but Mirror Shrek is the one that stood out the most, I think. Because Black Mirror had some really cool discussions out of it. Um, yeah, you know, it was a fun season of Survivor. Survivor is always a, a thrill to go through, but it's like you only Shrek once. You only Shrek once, and yeah, and therefore, therefore, you, you, we, that's the way it works, huh. <laughs> and it wins. That's why it won. I clearly the clearly the panel uh, really appreciated that, you know, about about our Shrek, mm-hmm. or sh- the Shrekening. So I can agree with that. I can agree with right. that award. I, I, well, that's good. That's good. Well, there's it only one. This. It all comes down to this. There's only one more category left, and that's our favorite video of the year, baby. The nominees are taking random BuzzFeed quizzes featuring Rusty. All right. How about cleaning your bedroom when you're not home? Green flag, red flag. Are you going through my things? Yeah, that's weird. That's that's weird. That's a red flag. Yeah, it's a little little odd. Do you not live together? When I'm there, because then... (laughs) You you don't live together. She comes over and cleans your room. Yeah, that would be weird. That would be, be massive red flag right there. Tarkaron All Stars Two. What is this? It's What's happening? Celebration. Two years of Tarkaron. Two years. We don't have any confetti. Yet. I, I, I should have thought about that. We get like like pop crackers and we like, some, we could pop some crackers. Um, yeah, I got some crackers right here. So Goldfish. We're not sponsored by Goldfish. You know what? I want to tell you something. What is that? I got whales. Black Mirror Episode Three reaction. The entire history of you. We really hope to look forward to seeing you again. He looks forward to seeing you again. That's good. Hopes to look forward. To <laughs> yeah, it's such a great line. Really hope to look forward to seeing you again. Tarkaron Cross Otaku Brothers 2. The sequel. That we didn't call it that. But that. That's what it was. Oh my. They're all yours. Those are amazing. These are for me? Yeah. <laughs> Well, <laughs> make room on the show back know. there. Survival All Stars finale reaction. And it's been a devilish game, but I think you could have taken a parallel course where these people wouldn't have been left in carnage, and they would have been feeling a little bit better about their decisions tonight. Damn, these are really these are rough, man. These are rough. Rupert's raw. Very raw. Very real. Ooh, Rupert it. next. Rupert's like, hey, you did good. Good job, guys. Opening custom Tarkaron cards. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you know, I didn't realize I was wearing my Star Fox shirt when this happened. It's falling apart! <laughs> ambush card! <laughs> it's an ambush. Box Art Battles, episode 5, featuring Rusty. Oh my goodness gracious. Yeah. <laughs> what? Shrek? What? Treasure Hunt on PlayStation and Shrek Ogres <laughs> and Drunkies. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what? On the DS. This game doesn't exist. That is, that on the DS? I don't believe like, what this. are these games? I mean, Shrek uh, Treasure Hunt? <laughs> is it like a is it like a puzzle game? Is it like a like a like oh one of those like God. point and click like puzzle finding games? And the tier list of everything we've reviewed. Goodwill Hunting. This is an S, S for me. Easy, easy S tier. Easy S tier. Yeah, easily. Behind Avengers Endgame. It's like it's very comparable. I could go. I could go either way with that. Probably it's funny, yeah, that movie think, was amazing. Yeah, I think Goodwill Hunting would be in like my top five movies ever now. Yeah, it, that movie is spectacular. I, I'm so glad that we watched that movie. Mm-hmm. I'm so happy that we watched it. A lot of rusty on this list. Wow. I was just noticing a lot of rusty. Very He's rusty a highlight. List. He's always a highlight of my day. The, so yeah, yeah. There was a lot of rusty. <laughs> there was a lot of rusty on All Stars too. Yeah. Otaku Brothers. So yeah, yeah. yeah. But 
I, well, let's see. Let's see if it's if it's enough. That the the winner is of the favorite video of the year. Opening custom Tarkaron cards. Yeah. Yeah. Give Rusty it up. Was I mean, on he, one of those cards. he was on one of those. So there you go. <laughs> he, he, apparently, it was enough. You know, and but. on the tier list of everything we reviewed, he was on the things that we that we ranked. He was a part of those. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I guess. By proxy, yeah. he was he was involved in in everything but Black Mirror and Black, Survivor Black Mirror, All Stars yeah. finale. <laughs> yeah, uh, but yeah, I mean the the, the custom Tarkon cards are just it was just such a thoughtful gift, and it was a a thrill yeah. again to go through to trip down memory lane. I feel like we had to give it up for that. Was, for sure, I I mean that is a like we're talking about cross section, but that is a cross section of of this in a way like those, those really do celebrate the fun that we have doing this show, the enjoyment, Mm -hmm. the good discussions that we have, the, the silly, stupid jokes, the people that we talk to, the people that we talk about on the show. And um, yeah, I mean, it's just an awesome gift. I, I thank you to your brother again, Mm -hmm. many times, many times over um, for that. It's just, it's such a cool idea, such a, an interesting because especially because you can actually play with them so yeah i know we need we do do we do really need to do that at some point i i feel like it's probably something that's gonna have to wait till we're in person we do also still have to learn i mean you probably already know i have no idea how to play Yu Gi Oh. so uh, that would be the most part yeah yeah but it'd be so So. fun to imagine like just going through Playing that game, just all the the wacky Tarkaron references that that come out <laughs> along the way, because all that is it's like something personal to us, you know. It's not yeah. like it's not like well, like I don't really care about that card. It's just like well, that was yeah. a specific thing we did. Each each one was like it's a specific reference or character from something we enjoyed. It all means something to us, yeah. yeah. So that that's why it's yeah, it's going to be the most special for us to to actually play it. So. But I mean, all the nominees in this award on this award are like videos we all loved. Like we loved yeah. all of these. Yeah, I mean, we look looking back at some of the stuff that was the most fun to do. That that Black Mirror episode, some of the most interesting philosophical and fun discussions that I've had with you on this show. Um, all of our stuff with Otaku Brothers has been just a treat. It always is. Whether it's having Rusty on, whether it's having Ryan on. Or having them both on for the mm-hmm. gift exchange. I mean, it's it's a lot of fun. Um, the just, just enjoying each other's company. Um, and that's why that's why I was like highlighting those. And like like I mentioned before, that box art battles was like maybe my favorite that we've done. I yeah. don't know, just like the fact that all Shrek games were featured. It yeah, was really interesting. It was, and fun, it was time. fun. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. The Tark Run All Stars too. I feel like these these survivor simulations are always going to be some of our, our favorite videos we do. For because, sure. I mean, similar to this, similar to the the custom cars, it's all like a love letter to everything we've done in that past yeah. year, basically. Yeah. And so we and, get to see these all these characters and we and us thrown in a mix for and basically walk through a survivor simulation a season being played out. Yeah. And that's a lot of fun to to talk through on the fly oh for sure for sure and and i mean looking through like ones that didn't necessarily like on the surface are like not really the most like intensive we didn't have to prep tons and tons for them but like the buzzfeed quizzes or the tier list we had to make the tier list thing so that takes a little bit of time but like we just sort of the random buzzfeed quizzes we literally just were like Let's hang out with Rusty and just look through BuzzFeed quizzes. And we did. We just scrolled through looking for ones. And that was just, it was just, it felt like I was just hanging around with friends. Mm-hmm. And like, that was just really fun. It got some really silly and stupid <laughs> answering. I got to talk about what I, was it Red Flags or something? Wasn't that one of them? Mm-hmm. It was red like the Red Flag relationships. Yeah. And relationships. Um, yeah, I mean that that was really fun. The tier list of everything reviewed. Again, that's sort of a, a, a sort of celebration of everything we've done. But it was we just it was love fun celebrating to sort of put, things we've done, huh? I mean, I, I mean, at, at some points you gotta just you gotta just sit back and appreciate 
everything that we've we have to appreciate everything we've done when you're in the weeds sometimes you you just you're just doing the grind and we're just we're just doing the stuff because yes. we enjoy it so a lot of people don't take a step back you know you just push out so much stuff you don't take a step back and look at like your whole breadth of work you know everything yeah. you've done and uh, that's always fun yeah for sure and I mean, also, also worth mentioning Survivor. We wanted to have Survivor featured in there because you know we always oh, enjoy sure. doing Survivor. I mean, it's hard to pinpoint one as the our favorite video Survivor video we've done, but we always enjoy watching Survivor together and talking about Survivor. So it's a very uh, uh, emotional finale. It was a very Normal enjoyable intense, finale. Final tribal councils, so it's like yeah, pretty satisfying. Very, very much so. Um. Lastly, uh, every year, oh yes. traditionally I, I award a beauty of the year. It's true. This year it's Dua Lipa. It's just Dua Lipa. There's yeah, you don't really even go through nominees. You just okay. That's fair. Dua Lipa, Dua Lipa, Dua Lipa. Okay. Yeah, she's she's pretty amazing. So it's her. And once we finally had a review of her, I made sure to <laughs> have a, re- a review of something she did so that I okay. to award <laughs> this. It's just like no, just a review of her. That's reviewing Dua Lipa, reviewing just the women, the yeah. woman. Yeah, that's a little weird. But I love her. But that's what I that's what I thought you were saying <laughs> at first. I was like, what are you what are you talking about? Don't do we that. We said we would never, we would never well, review women. It's it's come down to this, Zach. <laughs> we have to. But yeah, straight up. All right. All right. So that is that's been the Blasty Award. That's it. Wow, I year. can hardly tell. Oh well, look at the time. We gotta get going. This crowd. I mean, I don't know. They 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 kind of quieted down after a while. I don't know if they all fell asleep or if they now this time if all the people in the or... back of the crowd could push everyone forward. Yeah, uh, and give them really little to no room to breathe. That would be great. Yeah, that'd be really good. Uh, mosh pits. Uh, you know, we, it didn't look like you were having one, but uh, if you could just make one happen right now, we'd really appreciate it. Mm, I want to yeah. see some people die. Yeah, I just <laughs> jeez. <laughs> All right. Well, on that note, uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Um, Subscribe to the channel. Do all, all that right. stuff. Go to, in the description, we have links to all of our social media and uh, everywhere you can find us. And also leave any feedback you want for us to potentially yeah. respond to in the future. And we'll definitely check, read it at the very least. Check out that form. Tell us what you would have actually given some of these awards to. We'd like to, mm-hmm. to hear about it for sure. Right. All right. That's it. What video would you recommend our viewers watch after uh, going home from a long award ceremony here? Going home for that long award ceremony, maybe you want to relive some another award ceremony. Just check out the 2020 awards. The 2020 Blast Year Awards instead. That's right. Yeah. So long ago. So long so, ago. So long ago. It was like, I know. Ages. It's crazy. Ages, have, you could say. We have all these like anniversary markers now. We have like there's the the annual Tarkron Cross through Taco Brothers, annual Tarkron All Stars, the annual at this point opening Tarkron cards, the now the annual Blast Year Awards like all these big milestones we hit and it's like so no, many we're milestones. Getting, we're getting, we've got trilogies coming out of these things. I know. Now. Yeah, that's that, you know, is wow. and are we gonna are we gonna go for a for a three P? You know, are we gonna do a four? Have to you'll have to wait and see. There's a lot more that we haven't done yet. So. Mm-hmm. All right. I'm excited to do more. At least I oh, think yeah. we have at least one more video on us. That's right. And you never know what happens. We can after do that. that. Okay. Yeah. Who knows what will happen after that. All right. Thank you for watching. Thanks for coming out tonight. We love you. We love our audience. I'm just sitting here just like. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And good night. Take care. Good night and good luck. Bye.